Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. Today we're at the second annual Bicuspid Aortic Valve Conference in Chicago, Illinois, where the teams from Northwestern Medicine and Lurie's Children Hospital have gathered the patients, the doctors, the nurses, the families and friends to talk about the best practices for the management, the research and the treatment of bicuspid aortic valves. This is the second of our bicuspid aortic valve community event, mainly for patients and their family members. Today's program will highlight some of the research parts of the program, will highlight the patient components to the program, and at the end, when we have a question and answer session, both adult and pediatric cardiologists and the cardiac surgeons are available for our participants to ask questions and answer some of their most important concerns about this disease. A bicuspid aortic valve is a valve that has two leaflets in the aortic position instead of three. The bicuspid patients are all quite different. We really need to better understand how individual patients with bicuspid valves are different because that will change our management. So what we need is personalized management for each bicuspid patient. So we're really working on the science behind that. If we can better understand that, then we'll better know how to treat individual patients instead of treating them as a group. 4D MRI, or 4D flow as it's commonly known, has really changed the way that we look at bicuspid aortic valve disease. It lets us look at abnormal blood flow patterns, and it gives us insight into not just what is the size of the aorta, but why is it enlarged? Why do we think it might progress? How fast will it progress? This is a really promising area for imaging. We actually see bicuspid aortic valve in children quite frequently. The incidence of bicuspid aortic valve in the general population is approximately 2%. It's very important that they get followed on a regular basis and there's approximately a 9% incidence in first degree relatives of affected individuals so there must be some type of genetic component. There's two reasons bicuspid aortic valve patients would require surgery. One is for valvular problems, problems with their valve, or problems with their aorta, the actual wall around the blood vessel. Outcomes after surgery for bicuspid aortic valve are very favorable. Patients with bicuspid aortic valve should be monitored regularly and have timely surgery when indicated. My hopes for this conference are to educate patients and their families about bicuspid aortic valve, um, to become more involved and advocate in the community for this abnormality so that people can take better care of themselves. I think it's really important for patients to understand what it means to have a bicuspid valve, um, to be educated about what the risks are, and to be educated about what's in the future for them. So I, I think there's a lot of fear when people find out they have an abnormal heart valve and what's involved. And I'm hoping, you know, from my end that I can educate them a bit more about the heart surgery that might be required and some of the latest research that uh, we're doing to try to help them. Mm -hmm.